Dear fellows, welcome to IT Knowledge Base. In this lecture, we will talk about locking down Linux server with sudo, also known as super user do. We have been using the sudo in every Linux distributions to run or execute commands with elevated privileges, or you can say with root administrator privileges. In fact, sudo usage took a deeper look when you are managing users and permissions. Therefore, I won't go into too much details regarding sudo here, but some things bear repeating as sudo has a direct impact on security. Introduction to sudo. First and foremost, access to sudo should be locked down as much as possible. A user with full sudo access is a threat, plain and simple. It would take someone with full sudo access to make a single mistake with this command to cause you lost data or render your entire server useless. After all, a user with full sudo access can do anything the root can do, which is everything. By default, the user you have created during installation will be made a member of the sudo group. Member of this group have full access to the sudo command. Therefore, you should not make any user a member of this group unless you absolutely have to. In my upcoming video, I will demonstrate in detail how to manage users and their permissions and will talk about how to control access to sudo with the vi sudo command. File system hierarchy standard FHS for Linux. Ubuntu or like all Unix like system organizes files in a hierarchical tree where relationships are thought of in teams of children and parents. Directories can contain other directories as well as regular files which are the leaves of the tree. Any element of the tree can be referenced by a path name. An absolute path name starts with the character forward slash identifying the root directory which contains all other directories and files. Then every child directory that must be traversed to reach the elements is listed. Each separated by a forward slash sign. Forward slash user forward slash bin is basically a general systems wide binaries. And forward slash user forward slash as bin it's contained binaries with super users or root privileges required. You should find all the binaries or commands at this location to restrict in terms of security perspective. System directories for binaries. If you want to know the file system hierarchy and its purpose, use main pages of the hierarchy. More references URL is given here. Also write in the description for your further appraisal. Lockdown access to sudo. In a nutshell, you can lock down access to sudo to specific commands rather than allowing your user to do everything. Then you can edit the sudo's file so that the user can only use the commands which you have decided are necessary. You might be going at this the wrong way. Instead of giving a user a restricted bash shell, you should only give them access to the command they would need to run as a root. For example, if a user need access to shut down or reboot a server, you can give them access to perform those tasks and only those tasks with the following setting. For the most part, if a user need access to sudo, just give them access to the specific command that are required as part of their job. And if a user needs access to work with removable media, give them sudo access for the mount and unmount command. If any other user also need to be able to install a new software, give them access to the apt suit of commands. And let's say we want to give them permission to use only the ls and the cd command, give them access to the on the server. In order to do this, we will need to edit the line to look like this and so on. A fewer permissions you give a user, the better. Now test some users and make sure they are not able to execute commands other than those they have permitted. Test user1 to make sure this user is unable to update the Linux box and unable to mount the CD-ROM drive. Now jump over to user2 and make sure this user also should not have privileges to update the Linux box but have explicit rights to mount the CD-ROM drive. Test user3. This user should have explicit privileges to update the Linux box. Now you get the idea of how to restrict the users 
through the sudo words file. This goes all the way back to the principle of least. Although most of the information in this video is not new to anyone who has already great in-depth knowledge in managing users and permissions. Sudo access is one of those things a lot of people don't think about when it comes to security. The sudo command with full access is equivalent to giving someone full access to the entire server. Therefore, it's an important thing to keep in mind when it comes to hardening the security of your network. Where do all these commands live? Most of the commands that we use on the Linux command line are in fact programs which are stored as files located typically in the forward slash bin or forward slash usr forward slash bin directories. Let's see some commands for instance. You can use the which command to determine where all these programs is located really. Here we can see that this program is located in their respective bin directory. When we type a command, the shell searches a list of directories to find the command and run the first one it finds. Alright. In this video, we looked at the way in which we can harden the security of our server. A single solution can never give you an all-inclusive list of all the security settings you could possibly configure. But the examples we worked through in this video are a great starting point. Along the way, we looked at the concept of lowering your attack surface as well as the principle of least privileges. We will also look into securing OpenSSH in our upcoming videos, which is a common service that many attackers will attempt to use in their favor. We will also look how to configure fail to bend, which is a handy daemon that can block other nodes when there are a certain number of authentication failures. Alright, that's all for the now. I am hoping you have found this video informative. Thank you for being here. I will see you in my upcoming future tech video content. I look forward to join you through this lecture. If you want to see more awesome training content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it. Thank you.